we'll discuss about conjugate lines as you should the definition two lines are said to be are said to be conjugate lines conjugate lines with respect to with respect to a parabola s is equal to 0 if pole of either lies on other now please catch the important point pole of either lies on the other that means whenever you consider two lines each line is called polar for corresponding polar there exists pole let us consider two straight lines let l1x plus m1y plus n1 is equal to 0 l2x plus m2y plus n2 is equal to 0 these are the two lines conjugate lines parabola of course is y square equal to 4ax now call it equation 1 this is 2 this is 3 now earlier we discussed it the pole of any straight line lx plus my plus n equal to 0 with respect to the parabola so we know that pole of lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 with respect to y square equal to 4ax is n by l comma minus 2am by l now you can see instead of lx plus my plus n we are having l1x plus m1y plus n1 so only lmn are replaced by the suffixes therefore we can write pole of l1x plus m1y plus n1 is equal to 0 with respect to parabola y square equal to 4ax is instead of n by l you can write n1 by l1 minus 2am1 by l1 now these two lines are said to be conjugate if pole of first line lies on the second line that means we need to substitute this point in second equation substituting in equation number 3 so l2 into n1 by l1 plus m2 into minus 2a m1 by l1 plus n2 is equal to 0 you observe that denominator is l1 let us take lcm this is l1 n2 plus l2 n1 is equal to because this term is having negative sign goes on the right hand side thus becoming 2a m1 m2 so this is the condition for the two straight lines l1x plus m1y plus n1 equal to 0 l2x plus m2y plus n2 equal to 0 to be conjugate with respect to the parabola y square equal to 4ax.